So today we've been asked to use the Rational Roots Theorem to find all zeros for the polynomial. Now the Rational Roots Theorem states that if there are rational roots to a polynomial, those roots are going to be the constant term and all of its factors divided by the leading term, the leading coefficient, and all of its factors. So the possible rational roots for this equation are going to be plus or minus. Now, what are the factors of 6? The factors of 6 are 6, 3, 2, and 1. And the factors of this coefficient, which are 1, are just 1. So we're going to say plus or minus 6 over 1, plus or minus 3 over 1, plus or minus 2 over 1, and plus or minus 1 over 1. Now, what we have to do to find all the rational zeros for this polynomial is we have, now look closely, we have two zeros, two zeros, two zeros, two zeros. So we have eight possible zeros here. We have to try all eight of these possible zeros. We have to try all eight of them to successfully show each of the zeros to this polynomial. We may have to try less than eight depending on how lucky we get. There are a maximum of four rational roots to this, so we may not have to use all eight. So I'm going to start with a simple one. I'm going to start with six, okay? And the way to do this is to use synthetic division, and we write x to the fourth, 2x to the third, negative 5x squared, negative 4x, and then plus 6. And we divide synthetically through by 6. So copy and multiply. And that'll give us 8. Uh, and multiply. And, that'll, and then add. That'll give us 43. Multiply. That'll give us 258. Um, add. That'll give us 254. Multiply. That'll give us a huge number, 1,524. And of course, if we add that, that'll give us 1,530. What are we looking for? If this is a zero, the remainder will be zero. So I could say not a root. So six doesn't work. How about negative six? And we can try negative six. And it's the same coefficients every time. One, two, negative five, negative four, and six. And we can try that. And we copy and multiply. That gives me negative four. And then I multiply, that gives me 24. And 24 minus 5 is 19. We multiply that by 6, we get negative 114. Add negative 4, that'll give us negative 118. And negative 118 times negative 6 is 708. And 6 plus 708 is 714. Not a root. Okay, not a root. And so we keep going and we try negative 3. Okay, so negative 3, and we use 1, 2, negative 5, negative 4, and 6, and we try this root negative 3, so multiply by negative 3, we get negative 1, that gives us 3, that's negative 2, positive 6, 2, negative 6, 0. x equals negative 3 is a root. Now. I like to cheat here because I like to make the math easier on me. If x equals negative 3 is a root, then this is my new function. And instead of being to the fourth power, now my new function is to the third power. x cubed minus x squared minus 2x plus 2. So instead of having five terms, now I have four terms. I've reduced my polynomial. So let's try another one. Let's try positive 3. So we try positive 3. My new coefficients are 1, negative 1, negative 2, and 2. Nice, easy coefficients. So I say, okay, let's try 3. That gives me 3. That gives me 2. That gives me 6. That gives me 4. And 3 times 4 gives me 12. And that doesn't give me 0. Not a root. Okay? So now what? All right, well, I've tried... 6 and negative 6. I've tried 3 and negative 3. Now I'm going to try x equals 1. Okay, same coefficients. And we try this. So copy, multiply, add, multiply, 
add, multiply, add, what do we get? x equals 1 is a root. Now, at this point, what I do, as I say, I know this is a root. I know this is a root. I originally had a fourth degree equation. What am I left with? It was fourth degree. Now that I found this root, what's left is a second degree equation, which is x squared minus 2 equals 0. And I say to myself, if that's what I've got left, it's a quadratic. And I can solve that quadratic by moving this 2 over and taking the square root. And what do I get? I get x squared equals 2. And I take the square root of both sides and I get x equals plus or minus root 2. So whenever you can synthetically divide and lower the power of this, quadra of, of this polynomial, eventually you can get it down to a quadratic and you're able to use the quadratic formula. So we divide this and we divide it again and now we found all four roots. And the roots are negative 3, 1, and plus or minus the square root of 2. And so this is how we can take a fourth degree polynomial that perhaps we do not know how to factor and using the rational roots theorem get it down to a quadratic and either factor or use the quadratic formula. So, or the square root method in this case. If you have any questions about this problem, please let me know.